Retrobulbar haemorrhage is a maxillofacial emergency. The effects of retrobulbar haemorrhage can lead to loss of vision in the affected eye. The patients who are at risk include those who have got zygomatic complex, orbital floor or level 4 fractures, and any patient who has had an operation in the zygomatic arch region, orbital wall region or orbital floor. Post-operative patients require monitoring with eye observations every 15 minutes for the first hour, every 30 minutes for the next two hours, every hour for the next four hours, and every two hourly for the next eight hours, and four hourly up until a 24 hour monitoring period. These patients should be nursed at 45 degrees, and patients with any fracture in this area should be instructed not to blow their nose to avoid orbital herniation. This CT shows a retrobulbar hemorrhage of the left orbital region causing proptosis of the eye. Cardinal signs include increase in pain, proptosis of the eye, reduced light reflex or a fixed pupil, paralysis, poor or deteriorating vision, a tense or a hard eye. Treatment for retrobulbar hemorrhage is an emergency. Please call your senior on call doctor and remove any sutures around the area to allow release of pressure. Management of a retrobulbar hemorrhage will include a surgical decompression via a lateral canthotomy and an ED personnel may need instructions to perform this as an emergency to prevent deterioration or loss of vision. Medical treatment will involve mannitol, acetazolamide and the use of steroids. And the following steps should be taken to prepare the patient for a possible return to theatre. The following pitfalls should be avoided when assessing patients with a possible retrobulbar haemorrhage.